Hey, Ray Hayden here, and in this video, we're gonna be working with this piece of furniture, and what we're doing is we're putting wheels on the bottom of the uh, unit. And I'm looking at the camera here, and I can see in my monitor that you can see this uh, part of the wood that is a different color. It's a lighter color, because basically it didn't get finished as much. Uh, and if you look lower, a little too much. Maybe over here, you see the splooge of extra stain there. But this is the bottom of the unit, so nobody's gonna be hopefully looking down there, except if they're gonna put wheels on their furniture. So that's what we've decided to do. My wife is like, hey, it would be great if we could move this furniture around without killing ourselves, sliding it all around and putting it on different kind of sliders and things like that. It is a tile floor and sliders are great, but wheels are just that much better. So we got wheels that are rated for 90 pounds each. Uh, the unit doesn't weigh anywhere near the 400 pounds um, that, it, that these wheels should be able to handle. And in these locations, there was like a wooden ball that used to be the foot but cats try to get under there and then things don't get pretty after that. This has a lip on the front and then there's no lip in the back. So if a cat got behind there or a small cat, they can squeak in under the uh, unit and they might get scared and stuck back there. And we just really wanna be all about the safety for the animals. So with that, we had, went ahead and picked up these wheels. Um, we picked up 16 different wheels, or they're the same wheel, but we picked up 16 of these um, to put on various piece, uh, pieces of furniture that we want to make sure that we can move around far easier than it could before because we're all about being able to get behind things whenever we can because you know cats make messes and we ought to be able to see it get to it clean it up and get it taken care of as fast as possible what i'm going to be doing here is uh just reattaching uh, three more screws and these screws here you know again this is not sponsored by anybody or anything but if everbuilt wants to throw me a big bag of money we're all for it these are number 12 by one inch hex uh, uh hex head screws they are self what they call self drilling uh, screws so basically you know go baby do it okay so maybe not self totally self drilling but let's get this thing going on and see uh if we can get this uh put together real quick all right now the real key thing is i'm drilling into wood with these screws and i don't want to um have the um i don't want to over overdo it because if you put too much torque on it you end up stripping out the screw and then you get into shoving those uh toothpicks in there to kind of fatten it out remember in the good old days oh, i can fix that with a chewing gum and a toothpick macgyvering it i guess they call it anyway so um these go in there pretty quick uh again i don't torque them down too hard i just get them seated nice and flat And the fun part you missed was me doing the first one to make sure the thing was hanging on there so I could just do the other three real quick like that. That's all there is to it. Now this is a great experiment is we have to make sure that when we get this thing out, for the first one, I didn't really have to measure it too much. Um, this is a piece of wood that stops here where this color change is. So I wanna be inbound from that piece of wood so I don't splinter the wood, I don't crack the wood because that would you know, defeat the purpose here. This colored band right here um, I don't know why that's uh, particularly there, but that uh, gives me a, an indication of why I want to be just inbound of that. And I want to be inbound from the uh, side of the board here, which ends right there. And that gives me a little bit of space and everything, but still lets me to be as wide as possible. You know, that wide stance, uh, quite like a senator that uh, is no longer in office. But you want that wide stance for stability because the furniture is a, a tall uh, a book. Uh, it's a t TV stand is what it is. So uh, we're gonna wrap this up here for now. And uh, after I get the uh, fourth wheel on, we're gonna stand it up, see if it's safe. And if you see the rest of this video, you know that we did a good job. All right, so we'll catch you in the next segment. Hang on. All right, so you've seen this uh, second segment. So it means that we got the wheels firmly, firmly-ish attached. And uh, it seems to be, it's not, it's not crooked. That was like the other thing is leveling of the thing. There's no way to level those wheels, which is something that we honestly didn't even take into consideration. But to uh, demonstrate the new, the new capability of this thing, it can indeed move about, roll about, and we can get in around it every which way we need to. A bonus to this is if it's capable of doing it and we're not sure, but when we throw this thing up on the moving truck to take it up to the new property, it uh, may or may not be able to count on those wheels that we just put on to, do, to get it up into the truck because this is 
not too wide to go right up the ramp but it may not the wheels may not be of uh being sturdy enough we are going to uh go ahead and rent that uh hand truck that goes with it we looked at hand trucks today as well when we're looking at wheels and we decided that even though we know that we can use a hand truck when we get to the new property we decided to wait and see what's going on with that so anyway so let me uh, go ahead and push this back into the corner here Ugh. and slide it back or roll, roll it back, I should say. We don't have to slide it anymore. So there we are cooking with gas. It is ironically level. Now my wife, my, my, my beautiful assistant, Miss Demeanor, you remember her, she pointed out that it's gonna be ironic. We get up to the new property, we're gonna find out the, uh, wheel, the, the, the uh, uh, floors are gonna be unlevel, and uh, we're gonna wake up in the morning and find all our furniture sitting in the middle of the room. And if we are, we expect uh, our friends to make us heroes and, and uh, superstars on the YouTube channels that talk about uh, visitors from anywhere else, whether it be ultra, uh, supernatural or from other planets, it doesn't matter. Uh, we expect to be super famous on that if this happens, we'll let you know. The next thing I'm gonna do, one more segment is, we're gonna put everything back in there the way it's supposed to look, well, not everything, everything that we have left that isn't packed away. We're gonna throw it back in there. There's a shelf that's supposed to go up in there. And uh, the TV was actually chosen because it perfectly fit into the unit. So that's the, that's the way we decided what size TV we, we deserve to have. So anyway, so with that, I'm one more segment and it's gonna show that thing back together and maybe I'm another bonus cat or two. That's Simon over there and that's Mr. Handsome, ironically having a, a mountaintop snack. Just out of the picture over there, we'll put her back in there. There's Killer B sitting up there, all right? If you see her or not. All right, so catch you in one last segment. Hang on for that. All right, we're back and uh, I'm blocking the view for the big reveal. We got Mr. Handsome up here supervising. Okay, he's having a break. Uh, Baby B, this here is Mini Cat, Simon, and somebody's out there. Let me see who that is. That's Choco Cat. And then we got Snowman sitting behind the camera. Uh, he is directing the entire thing. And we have Buddy Cat uh, below the table behind the camera. He's doing the audio checks for us. All right, so there it is. The TV is back in its place. We normally have an antenna. I am going to grab this thing and bring it back into the shot. Uh, we cut the cable a while ago. Uh, we were very upset with paying very high prices for cable TV. And especially when we realized that this is indeed an HD TV and we were paying for cable, but the local channels, we weren't paying for the high definition upgrade. Cable TV was dumbing down our standard television channels uh, to where they looked horrible. And then once we cut the cord, we found out the HD TV and just a very inexpensive antenna uh, got the job done. And this is a very, very easy, I, I was gonna do a, a whole video on this, um, but this is, I don't even know if they make this anymore or whatever, if it's another name now, was it Supersonic or whatever? Supersonic HD antenna. You don't have to hang it up in your window. Every now and then, you, you know, if it's raining like it is now out there, uh, you might have to lift it up on top of the uh, counter to, and twist it to get a reception in there. But they're excellent, they're high definition. I'm sure the newscasters love that when you see the loose flyaway hairs or uh, any imperfections in their look. So <laughs> it's kind of an unfortunate thing for them, but we have our HD TV back with a very inexpensive uh, connection and basically save a fortune. The other thing is though, when I do editing and things like that, I did that one live stream with Mr. James Cox and uh, I did a couple experiments. I was using this. I used this as my computer, uh, computer monitor for that big, uh, for the main editing computer that I had built earlier this year or last year. I can't remember when it was now. Anyways, so that's gonna wrap it up for this. The wheels uh, are not the most fashion forward uh, things, but they're practical, they're effective and efficient. They get the job done for us. And that's really the way we're gonna live the rest of our lives effective efficiency, uh, uh, safety for our animals, and uh, due care and ease of cleaning up uh, the property that we have. So that's really what it's all about. So with that, until we catch you in the next video, take care and be well.